What is up, YouTube? It's another episode of the Cartoon Cyborg Streamlapse from J55555. Uh, in this episode, I'm animating Emotron, which is a robot. Uh, and he's actually going to be a main character in this series. But I'm just going to make him have a little cameo here and there until I actually introduce him. The premise be behind this character is that he's a robot with emotions, but the only emotions he's got are negative ones. And he is the first artificial intelligence ever, and basically everyone just discounts that because he's just such a drag to be around. But this character's got huge potential, and within the series, they're going to be using him for things like dimensional travel, uh, getting sucked into video games, all sorts of stuff. So um, this, is, this is actually a really cool character and one of my favorite ones. But I haven't introduced him yet, so there's more to come. Another cool thing about this character is he basically goes through a whole shitload of transformations during the season. And I believe this is his final transformation that I've designed. This is this is future Emotron. Um, he starts out as just basically a box that says Emotron on it, and he's gonna be getting upgrades as the, as the series goes. So I just thought that was a cool character. Right now in this scene, he's doing some some intense movement. So I did some squash and stretch once his once his monitor hit his body, and now I'm doing some easing out of that from because nothing just hit something and stops. There's there's going to be frames in between and after. Um, I forgot what they're called. I guess they're called resting frames. But those are important ones. So my idea was I would have him wheel out into the scene while everyone else is on their anticipation frames. And as soon as everyone else starts reacting, Emotron's going to give Gord a score of 7 out of 10 and start applauding a lot. And I wanted the I wanted the clapping to be straight ahead. I wanted it all to seem all just organic and natural. But then I wanted to end it out in a loop. So the way I did that was I did a couple frames where he's just clapping and acted like acted like it was just never gonna end. And then I took the first frame from that clapping after his anticipation frames where he started clapping and I put that frame at the very end of the cartoon and in between it until it looks like a solid loop without without any jitter, stutter, unnatural things. Um, I thought it was funny that he gave him only a 7 out of 10 because that's that's just about as positive as Emotron can get. And upside down, it's spoiler. Um, another thing. Let's go to some some questions. Mr. Pucha Luis asks, "Are you gonna make another Game Grumps animation?" Um, I don't know, man. Probably. They're, they're easy to make so I mean anything you don't you don't have to work hard on but you can animate is a real it's a real plus on YouTube I think I think it'd be beneficial for me to make another one so I don't see why I wouldn't because those are my most viewed videos at this moment and people seem to enjoy them and they're not that they're kind of fun to make so I don't see why not I like I like game grumps I, I still watch them um, that white kid junior asks, why don't you animate inside of a symbol like most animators instead of doing them in the timeline? That's a good question. I do use symbols, but uh, first before putting my frames into a symbol, I usually draw the animation for that part of the character. So for instance, if I wanted to have a talking head, on a moving body, I would animate the talking head first and put that into a symbol using this this extension on Flash called New Anim Clip. I just highlight all the frames, copy them, click New Anim Clip, paste them, and it puts your frames exactly where they already were on the stage. I use that a lot. Um, 
I think lately I've been doing a lot more straight ahead and pose to pose without any symbols, but I think the perfect way to animate on Flash is a good little mixture between pose to pose, straight ahead, and encasing all those little things into symbols. So, I, I do animate inside symbols, but I start outside the symbols because I have an extension called New Anim Clip and it makes it a little bit easier, at least for me. Um, those are the only two questions, so go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Jarrett Riley, that's J A R R E T T R I L E Y, and send me some music at J A E E E E E at gmail.com if you're a musician, because I would love to showcase you in the background of my next Streamlabs video. Thanks for watching and dick bug. <laughs>